On last week's episode of our Great Barrier Reef Swains trip, we look into where and how to target reef fish on a range of plastics with great results. In this episode, we show you slow pitch jigging techniques for coal, trout, red throat emperor and more. We also take the mothership into deep water wide of the swains where jigs and bait go head to head in some wicked rod bending action. Alright, so these are the slow pitch jigs we're using. These are mustard wingmans. Now, over the last couple of years, we were using these in the development stages before they released them with Wilson. And I'll tell you what, they became a fast favourite among every angler that was on board. These things caught so many fish. The amount of double fish we were catching on these was phenomenal. So two trout in every jig. And this trip alone, we probably caught 20 or 30, don't know, yeah. that were double trout, a trout and a red throat. They just work extremely well. And you can, you can actually work them really slowly, almost unconventional, and they get bites. So uh, I'll show you a few different techniques that we use. So using an Ocean Jigger 3000 Custom, it's got PE4 on it, just to give yourself a bit of a chance. But the important parts of the rods, so that's a uh, Venom Ocean Warrior jigging rod. This one's the uh, FS1, so it's quite a light jigging outfit and it, do, it will actually do 60 to 150 gram jigs although you can use slightly heavier jigs on it so once we hit oh well, that's oh, that's, a good that's how easy it is on the drop just got to the bottom so I didn't even get to uh, show you the method we're supposed to use These jigs have actually been really good, even on pearlies, snapper off Brisbane, anywhere the bottom fish are, they work extremely well. So we have a nice little Spanish flag or stripey. These things are actually top eating, really, really, really quality eating. Feel all that big. Hit hard. <laughs> Going back to the east, mate. Nice trout. East, Romeo, thank you. Touch Beautiful trout. 80 gram wingy. Mustard wingman. Let's start. That red, white colour. Beautiful. Well done, mate. Oh, straight on. Good fish. Same. Oh, same. Ooh. Dropped him as well. Right on the money there. Yep. Double. Oh, it's something small. It's woken up a bit. Feels a bit better? Nah, no, trouty. Yeah, I reckon I've got a good trout. Oh, no. What have you got? A big red throat. Red throat. It's a cracker. Well done. Nice fish. Beautiful. That coloration and oh, love just phenomenal. The fins are the best. Absolutely beautiful. 42 metres and there is fish just stacked. No way. Oh, I've got to get on the way down then. Yeah, so did I. Oh, yep. Yep. Whoa. That's, that's a good one. Oh, shot. Oh. <laughs> Look at that jig. Wow. Munched. Man, so many fish sharked, eh? Got me leader back, too. Good hit. <laughs> nice. 
nice. Beautiful. A legal trout tee. Very nice. Just man. legal. On the wing. On the wingy. So with these slow pitch mustard wingman jigs, there's a few different techniques you can use in trying to make them flutter. Now sometimes you're actually not trying to make them flutter. And we found it's probably one of the most successful ways. And that's just a simple wind of the handle, little jigs like that. And that's enough for that jig just to be flipping and flopping. That's what gets the bites. The old saying, less is more, actually works with these jigs. You don't need much movement at all. They'll often get the bites. Especially when you're chasing bottom fish, you obviously want to keep it really close to the bottom. They're bottom feeders. You want to be able to work that jig very close to the bottom. The slower you do it, less movement with the handle, so you're not trying to pull it up too fast up through the water column. That's where those fish feed more than likely to increase your catch rate. It's all in the rod tip itself, so essentially it's really important to run specific jigging rods for this purpose. Just because it's all in a tip, you'll see it's quite a soft tip, it'll bounce. It's loading up and unloading, and that's enough to flick those jigs, cause a little bit of a flutter, and that's where all the action comes from and works extremely well. So essentially what Dane's doing here is a traditional slow pitch jig retrieve and that is bringing that jig up through the water column quite high then with that slack line as you can see that's causing that jig to flutter back down. That's your traditional style slow jigging and that's where the importance of that nice soft tip rod flicks that jig up causes a nice flutter. work really well with a range of species and you're likely to catch some more high speed fish as well. Jobbies love that kind of movement up through the water column. It's smashed. Fish on. Trouties. That is a good fish Dane. Oh no. Do you want me to come back around? You're up. Shark, though. Damn it. Oh. Oops. Wow. Spion. That sucks. <laughs> Almost Dagobot. Yep. Oh, shit. Yes. Oh, beautiful. Nice trouty. Oh, awesome work. Yeah. Look at that. Nice trouty. There we go. Beautiful cold trout on the jig. So we're fishing the, the edge of the reef systems now. We've come away from the deep water. The sharks were flogging us. So we're sitting in about 30 meters of water. That magic number, that 25 to 30, is where we seem to find the better fish. 
sound around till you find some bombies with life. Drop the jig down, a couple little subtle flicks, and it's latched on. He's a lovely fish, that one. Absolutely gorgeous. These bigger fish start to fight fairly hard as well. A little bit of an old looking tail on him. Very cool. Yeah, mate, nice trout. Yes. Oh, yes. That's Look at a that. beautiful fish. Well done, buddy. Look that, at that, Kay. That's a beautiful trout on a wingman, mate. That is beautiful. Look at Pinned that. Around sideways. Pinned him nicely. Very good, mate. That is awesome. Well done, buddy. Thank you. Oh, up. Good fish. Beat that shark, mate. No shark following. Nice red throat. Spitting up bait. Beautiful, mate. Well done. Oh, well Had done. To work hard for him. <laughs> See if we can beat these sharks. Hey, what's this? Mate, this is awesome. Nothing better than being down the swains double hook up. Oh, oh we're wrapped oh. up. Oh, oh no, it's a oh, good okay. trout too. You've got a cracking trout. Mine just got shark as I stopped. Look oh. at that. Oh, I stopped and I got sharked. No. Oh, quick, put him over the side, quick. Oh, oh. He's got to come out of him, lever on, sir. <laughs> oh, there's another one coming out. <laughs> the garbage disposal. I reckon. That for a long nose on the wingman. Beautiful little long nose on 80 gram wingman. Put up a cracking fire even for this size. Well done, Kate. That's a cool fish. Look at the colours in that fish. That is awesome. Beautiful fish. Well done, buddy. Thank you. So day three of our trip, today blowing fairly hard, 20 to 25 knots from the southeast. Uh, we decided to fish off Big Cat today, so everyone's on board. And uh, Master Skipper Jimmy is trying to get us on the spots. A little bit difficult with this big boat, but he's doing real well at this stage. A few fish starting to be caught, a few green jobbies and travel in bits and pieces. But the big challenge is trying to get this big boat sitting over the top of some of these small reefs. James is just keeping it directly to the bow, straight into the wind. And just basically shuffling it around, trying to keep us over the marks. Splendid job, Jimmy. As the morning went on, James and myself worked closely together to fine tune our methods and maximize the fishing time on Big Cat. Having a skipper so willing to step outside his normal operation and genuinely show interest in the finer fishing details, as well as letting me search for ground in his own vessel, was a huge credit to him. With our plans working well, it wasn't long until the jigging boys at the front of the boat went head to head with the bait boys in the middle to the back end of the boat. That's all right, he'll come around and hopefully hang it right there. Still look good? Oh yeah, it's a pretty good, oh, pretty good. Oh, he goes on already. Samuel. Sammy's on! Gabby's getting railed. There's those big fishes. That's what I can see on the sound or whatever he's hooked. Oh! oh, 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 oh don't worry, he's on! Don't worry! Dragonfish. What's that on, Whitey? Moon riser, mate. Oh, the old mustard moon riser. 150. Get down there quick, bring him back up quicker. Well done, buddy. 
I think Chappie's fighting a big shark here. What's that on, mate? Hard yards. Mustard wingman, 150. Two fitting. Two fitting? Yep. Well done, mate. Peter got shark. Oh, he's on now. That's a good fish. Oh, is it a bass, is it? Yeah. Oh, no. Big one, it's a big huh? bass. Good bass, bro. The bass master. Oh. Walk your dog, mate. <laughs> Walk your dog up the front. Oh. Nice jobby. Oh, 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 oh. Yes! Great fish, Neil. Well done, mate. Well done, Neil. Guys. Good big job, catch, Jobby. Big heavy cool. fish. Beautiful, mate. Well done. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for getting us on the spot, Greg. No worries. Shot, shot. Teeth on. Put a head on that. <laughs> on you, Dicko. Oh, Can't get away from these. <laughs> oh, the old bludger. Yeah. Bit of bait fishing. Yeah, mate. Name your species, Cord. Red bass. Red bass. No, it's not a red bass. Oh, yes, yes it is. Red bass. Can't get him down there. Bloody bass. After catching a range of species on jigs and baits, I headed wider to chase some gold band snapper in 110 to 120 meters of water. It wasn't long before the action heated up and people were hooked up all around the boat. Gold band. The cord got a nice one too? Yeah, it was a sharp tooth, the other the cord got. Okay. Oh, sharpie, that one. Yep. Another sharpie? Another sharp tooth, that one. Is that a sharp tooth? Yep. See, so he's got no bands on his face. Yeah, okay. No sharp tooth, has no gold band, so it's not a gold band. We're getting gold band and sharp tooth. They look very similar, very, very similar in the yellow they got through them as a gold band, but just the lines across the face, the dead giveaway. Nice work, Cord. Thanks, Love Greg. The gold band. So the sharp tooth we just showed you before, this is obviously the opposite to it. Similar size dorsal, similar colour. These have the gold bands compared to the sharp tooth. Beautiful. Check me. On your water? You. So, um, tell us your technique here, Banksy. Uh, wait till this thing starts going nuts and uh, push the lever, I reckon that's about all there is. Mate, do. that's some talent right there. Oh, Not right, can I've, do learned, I've learned from the best. <laughs> <laughs> He's loaded up. Get your time. Scotty's on. Get him, Scotty. Go, Scott. Scotty. Scotty, get on him. Quick gap, this Someone get the gap. gap! Someone get the gap! Yeah. <laughs> Did it come out? Yeah. No, nah, it's in with Dougie's line. Right. Yeah. Nicely done. Is that on mine? Oh, yeah, that's on yours. Oh, yeah, on you, Scotty. What's going on here, mate? Hooked up. Hooked up finally. That's a familiar looking reel and rod right there, mate. I'm glad you're using it. Feels good. Cool. Out of the way. Yeah, go, man, mate. 
Oh, someone. Oh. Yeah, go, man. Go, man. Woohoo! Final. Well, this is one of them monster ones. Yeah. Good work, Sammy. Swain Snapper. Well, Greg, you said we we're coming out to chase Snapper. Apparently, I missed the gold ban part of it. You did. Um, come all the way, 400 k's offshore, to catch something. We can catch probably 15 k's from the ramp, but that's all right. I'm not complaining. That's it, mate. Well done. Hold your dog. Sharp tooth. It's getting beat on someone's squig, so yeah. it's good on my line. Yeah. Nice work, mate. What's this one called, sharp tooth? Sharp tooth, yep. Very similar to the gold band. With gold band and sharp tooth jobfish coming over the side one after another, and happy with our results, we decided to head back to the 60 metre line to see if we could find some redfish before heading in behind the reefs for the night. Good shell on the sound, a really good area. I don't want to say anything, but I'm pretty certain they're going to be Red Empress, so uh, we'll just have to wait and see what some of the boys pull up here. Yes, Dougie! Hey. Thanks, Greg, you put us on You're the fish welcome, mate. That's awesome. Good work, Dougie! Thanks, mate. Awesome trip with the Wilson boys. Thanks, Greggy. That's awesome. First red of the trip. Oh, mate. How good. Yeah. Beautiful mate, well done. Thank you. Get that dirty thing off that red emperor, Sammy. Oh, yeah. Easy now. Gee whiz. Don't be like that, Greg. <laughs> yeah, Kenny! <Bye>, <laughs> nice work, buddy. That's a bucket list out here. Good work, mate. Oh, Look at that. Good shot, Kelly. Not a bad one, too. Just found a new spot, dropped down on it. There's been all sorts of stuff happening. It's chaos, isn't it? Yeah. And, uh, Kenny's nailed this beautiful large mouth nanny guy. Kenny's the cook on Big Cat. Good to have a drop. Right. Well done, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you. That's awesome. What's Dougie got? He's got a good fish on. A good fish on. 12 metres. Tell us what's going on here, Dougie. I don't know if I've got a shark, mate, or a... Or a good nannies, fish. or red in the nanny, I don't know what it is. <laughs> but I know it's stalling on my motor, which is a big seven metres to go. Good on shark, man. Very sharp. Yeah. Yeah. Sure is. Look at that big one, too. I'll leave you that one, mate. Thanks. <laughs> so day four of our trip, and we had such a good time yesterday on Big Cat that we decided to come out and do it again today. So we've stepped away from the swains a bit, out into some deeper water, and we're chasing the better quality fish. Yesterday we got a heap of gold band, um, sharp tooth jobbies, green jobbies. We even ended up with some snapper, red, nanny, red throat, trout, so a bit of everything, and all good quality. But the best part was, was having everyone on the boat together, you know, 15, 16 anglers, and everyone had a really good time. The banter was phenomenal, and uh, we asked James, let's do it again today. So, it took a lot for James yesterday, like, it's, it's one of those things we're sounding around, and I'm finding the ground that looked like it was holding good fish, and that's taken a bit. There's a lot of rocks in this area, and only probably one out of 20 is holding the fish, so... I basically sound around, find what I want, and tell James, keep the big cat right on top of it which has been bloody difficult this boat's big it's like a big sail but James has done a phenomenal effort and um, we've, we've conned him into it again today so yeah thank you Jimmy no worries boys all good and hopefully we can find a few more good fish today we'll start off in that sort of 60 meter area hopefully chase a few reefies and maybe progress out a little bit further chase gold and a few other species again hopefully we have another cracking day Well done, mate. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
the trap. Timmy's on. Go, Timmy. Yay, Sammy. Well done, Timmy. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, How cool is this? That is so cool, boys. Tiny little rock, five meters high. Producing the Greg, you put us on the oh, yeah, yeah, Greg, that looked mint, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Having a cigar. You're yeah, laughing at it. Yeah, that's right. Hey, I've got to get that right Scotty, what a long nose. That's a ripper, isn't it? That is awesome, mate. We've caught a couple of days. Troy just lost a good fish, but yeah, I hope this was it. So Look anyway, at that. That is awesome. Work. But yeah, that's a first for me. I haven't caught one before. Hold well on, so. mate. Yeah, that's good, a cracker. Good way to start. Hold <laughs> well on, buddy. You gonna gaff it, bring it down here. Oh, no, Green jump push. Bag of bod. The work, Wardy. Another nice marine jobby on the stagger bot. It's pushing out a bit wider now. It's sort of been that 50 to 65 metre mark. Nearly up to 70 in some spots. Um, fishing's just thawed off a little bit, so going hunting for some new ground. Still put plenty of fish being caught. It's all good quality. Big long nose, few reds, green jobs, all sorts of species. So a few trout in the shallow stuff. Enjoying themselves. That, those particular spots we just did, the bait absolutely slaughtered the guys in the jigs. So the jigs have been working well on most spots. But that one there, the, the bait just absolutely flogged them. So and that often happens. I say that to a lot of people. Trying to use both methods sometimes just doesn't really work at all. If you start getting them on bait, they'll often switch off in the jigs. So if you're a die-hard jig guy, always try jig first. And if you need to, then switch over to bait. But um, yeah, yeah, unfortunately you lessen your chances of catching fish on jigs if someone else is using bait beside you. With limited time and plenty of fish caught for the morning, we headed back into the main reefs while Frankie the fish fielding guru cleaned the morning's catch. On next week's episode, we move up onto the beautiful shallow reef flats where we talk about the techniques used to catch a range of species on surface lures. This visual fishing is loads of fun and the rewards can be exceptional if you follow some simple rules.